What's up, beautiful ladies and handsome men? I am not sure what's true or false in this story. I take gossip, tea, rumor, and scandal from yesteryear, from online, from word of mouth, from books, and I ball it up and I tell you guys a story. Now, let's get to it. Hi, everybody. How y'all doing? Come on in the room. This is Ashley with Ashley Says So, and I am back with another old Hollywood Scandals video, and baby, I am loving this headband wig, okay? Anyway, today we have another scandal-filled video, huh? Honey, and we about to talk about Lionel Richie and the mess he caught himself in. Now let's get to it. Lionel Brockman Richie Jr. was born on June the 20th, 1949 in Tuskegee, Alabama. All right, Alabama, home team. Lionel's father's name was Lionel Brockman Richie Sr. and he was in the U.S. Army and his mother's name was Alberta R. Foster, and she was a teacher who later moved up to being a principal. Now, growing up, Lionel went to the local high school, and then he went to the local college that was Tuskegee University. And while he was there, he met a flawless doll by the name of Brenda Harvey. Now, Brenda was very smart, quiet, sweet, and kind, and Lionel would make sure to put his best foot forward when approaching Brenda. And eventually, he and this magnificent doll started dating. And Brenda was very supportive and very caring for Lionel, especially when he decided that he wanted to go into music. So when Lionel started putting all of these different bands together just to see what would work, you know, Brenda was always on his side helping him in any way that he needed. Speaking of bands, Lionel went through several of them before finally finding a band that stuck. And that band was called the Commodores. Once he found the band that he knew was it and the band that he knew he was going to make it with, he was very uh, grateful to Brenda for her support. And he promised her that he was going to give her the world that they were going to live the good life. But honey, the folks say that when the Commodores got signed to Motown, Lionel wasn't so sure for a minute there. Baby said that so many women were sitting up there kicking their legs back that Lionel put Brenda on hold for a minute, honey. He had to taste the TT rainbow, and boy, did he taste it. Lionel Richie Mufasa looking tail went from city to city while the band was on tour and said that he would sleep with a woman in the morning time, a woman at lunchtime, and then a different woman at dinner time. Baby said the man had so much thrust and power in him that sometimes he can get in uh, like five women a day. In fact, Lionel Richie and his bandmates in the Commodores would brag about uh, sleeping with many women in a different city. But I tell you what, some put a stop to that little mess and that's when they were sitting up there looking stupid when guys from other bands ended up getting calls from women from basically all over the U.S. saying, you know, hey, we got a little one on the way. Hey, I just had a baby, you know, you're his father. Baby say the Lionel Richie stuff started shriveling up real short, honey, because he didn't want to have no outside babies. And so that's one of the reasons why his little tail ran back home to Tuskegee talking about some uh hey Brenda baby how you been yeah you beautiful sweet angel I think it's time we settle down and Brenda was like you doggone skip and so they ended up getting married on October the 18th, 1975. From what I could find from reading uh, interview clips, magazine clips, all of this good stuff from back then, it seemed like almost everybody admired the relationship that Lionel and Brenda had. And there was a lot to admire. You know what I'm saying? They were this young, beautiful couple and Lionel and Brenda were very much in love. A good, strong love from what it looked like. And then by the time 1983 had come around, Lionel and Brenda had not had any children of their own yet. And they were close friends to another couple. Some people even say one of Lionel's bandmates, whoever this person was, um, Brenda and Lionel were close friends with this guy and this guy wife. Well, this guy and his wife ran into financial trouble and they had a small child, a daughter. And so the guy asked Lionel if he would take their child in, you know, and give their child a better life, you know, because they were struggling. But Lionel and Brenda did even more than that. They ended up adopting the child. And this child was two-year-old Camille Escovito, but a lot of you guys know her as Nicole Richie. So now the Richie family were really the business. They were young, they were gorgeous. Once again, they were wealthy. Now they had their little girl. You know, they really seemed like a complete family unit. Then next thing you know, party, karamu, fiesta, forever. All night long. Oh, no. Yes. All night long came out and it became a major 
worldwide hit. And I don't believe this was Lionel's first hit. Definitely not like first hit period because honey, you know he had the Commodore's Brick House and all that baby. But I'm talking about um, even as a solo artist, I don't think that this was Lionel's first hit, but this definitely was his biggest hit to date as a solo artist. So of course, you know, Lionel is traveling all over the world performing this hit song. And the folks say that um, even at the 1984 Olympic Games, he performed this song. So you know, Lionel is up on the stage singing his little song and baby said there was this one woman with long Floyd hat child said that she was doing kicks and spins to the music everybody else was doing little basic moves you know they moving their shoulders they doing the two-step and stuff like that baby said this woman was kicking her legs up and doing all this kind of stuff and all that good stuff got Lionel's attention and yes I got a half shirt on y'all so just ignore my stomach I was trying to be cute today so anyways like I said Lionel just sitting up there singing baby he looks out and finally when she came up one of the times Lionel actually got a good look at her and he thought that she was a magnificent creature allegedly this lady possessed a beautiful face with a very nice figure her name was diane alexander and the folks say that lionel could not wait to get backstage to meet her lionel and diane did meet and they became very fast friends and some people say that at least one of them wanted to become even more than that and honey you know it's a scandalous thing child because the folks say that by 1986, Diane was keeping real close contact with Lionel Richie. In fact, he made sure that she was a featured dancer in his new video, Dancing on the Ceiling. Well, child, you know the messy folks say that after the video was over, baby said Lionel grabbed Diane off the ceiling and had her dancing in the bedroom. And from then on out, Diane Alexander allegedly became Lionel Richie's biggest secret. Because see, Lionel Richie was not like a lot of other people on my list whether male or female because baby we seen some scandal from both but anyways he was not like these people he respected his wife so there was none of this stuff about you know flashing his lover in front of his wife's face and all this kind of stuff oh no baby Lionel did not get down like that so this meant that Lionel did indeed keep his wife in the dark about his cheating but it still turned out to be not really a good look for him because there were still people who did know that he was cheating and honey let me tell you something this just wasn't no gossip for these folks. A lot of these people were in positions where they could get proof, tangible proof, that uh, Lionel was cheating with Diane. As a matter of fact, it's claimed that Diane Alexander used to live in a set of apartments. And every time Lionel Richie left his home in the morning for work, he would beeline over to Diane Alexander's apartment. He would park in the back and walk up to her back window. Well, these are apartments. So Diane's back window was back there, but her neighbors on either side or on both sides, uh, their windows was right there too, right beside her. So while Diane was probably at the window blowing kisses, talking about some, ooh baby, I couldn't wait to see you, her neighbors was at their window sipping tea looking like Kermit the Frog. Watching Lionel walk up to Diane's window ready to be worked up and worked out. And allegedly Lionel was great at cheating for a while. You know his wife Brenda was still very much in love. But after a while they did start having problems. But it was not because Lionel was cheating well. Technically, it was because Lionel was cheating, but Brenda had no knowledge that he was cheating. So she was upset with him, but she was getting upset with him because she would feel like, you know, he was always away from home. You know what I mean? Felt like he always found a reason to go perform somewhere. You know, he always had to have big business meetings. He was just never spending enough time with her and she wasn't really a priority. So like I said, he probably wasn't spending this time with her because he probably was cheating with Diane, but for Brenda, she didn't know that. and so as Lionel became more and more distant from Brenda she would voice her concerns and voice her opinions and things like that and Lionel would listen and he would do two things he would either say yes baby you know I hear your concerns and I'm gonna change all that or he would just blame it on his work you know well Brenda it's a very busy time right now you know I have to do all these shows you know just pretty much making excuses and this worked for a while you know what I'm saying Brenda was an understanding wife she wasn't just shooting her husband to deuces like that you know but after some time things did not not change that is when Brenda did uh, shoot the deuces and so she and Lionel separated and honey they say that when they separated Lionel started using the oldest trick in the book child Nicole their child oh he missed his baby you know what I'm saying he needed to see Nicole he had to spend time with his child he was not used to being away from his little girl and so Brenda was not a lady that would take a child away from her father you know so here you go here's Nicole pick her up you know you can take her for a walk no I want to see Nicole in your house so I can be close to you. 
child. Yeah, I know how some of these baby daddies is. You know what I'm saying? They just got to see their child, but they got to see their child somewhere close to you in your house. And ladies, before y'all get to pointing the fingers, girl, go on, be quiet, because y'all know y'all be sitting up there liking it too. But anyways, this is uh, what rumor says what was going on between Brenda and Lionel. You know what I'm saying? He wanted to see his child, but he was always seeing his child around Brenda, you know. So really, this was starting to make them get back together. They were going through a separation, but the more they spent time together, you see each other laugh, you know, you see him playing with the child. You know, it just, it lights these flames again. And so they started working out their marriage but for Lionel working out his marriage did not mean getting rid of his side chick and this set the stage for some strawberry lemon lime for loco twisted tea baby oh honey you may as well say it with me the scandal child the scandal now let's dig on in so anyways let's track back so I done told you that uh, Brenda and Lionel separated, but now they're trying to get back together. They're working on themselves and their marriage. In the midst of working on their relationship, pretty much out of nowhere, Brenda starts to hear little whispers, little things like, honey, did you hear? They say Lionel messing with a dancer, baby. So of course, this piques Brenda's interest because dancer, what dancer? And she also doesn't move stupidly right off top. You know what I'm saying? She don't just blow up because, uh, you know, Lionel works with a lot of dancers and she's met a lot of his dancers. And also the number one main reason that she don't just pop off is because, uh, duh, Lionel Richie is famous and everybody knows just like we're doing this video now gossip rumors and allegations follow celebrities like flies you know what i'm saying so that's just part of it so brenda sits on her hands and she sits back for a minute but then she starts to hear the whispers again and things are a bit different this time because now she hears honey did you hear the folks say that lionel richie messing with one of his dancers baby they say the woman's name is diane alexander now this definitely caught Brenda's attention because see this has a name attached to it and this is a name that she knows she definitely knows that Lionel knows a dancer named Diane Alexander heck if I'm not mistaken uh the folks say that Brenda even knew Diane Alexander so now Brenda is like um if Lion King I'm just kidding if Lionel is trying to mess with Diane Alexander well then what the heck are we doing why is he acting like he wants to repair this relationship with me why would this man reel me back in when I I said I was done. Why would he reel me back in if he knows he's not being serious? And then the big question comes to mind. Just how long has this guy been messing with this woman anyway? Is this the reason that he's been being distant? Is this the cause of everything anyway? So now Brenda does start to get worked up. You know what I'm saying? She starts to wonder about his movements. She starts to think back and she starts to question things. And then she's like, you know what, sis? Sit your strong arm tail down because you don't know if it's true. You know what I'm saying? You need to see this with your own eyes. Don't just jump stupid off no doggone rumor. And that's when Brenda hashed a plan. Now, baby, listen at this. The folks say it was around 2 in the morning on June the 22nd, 1988. Brenda, who I guess already knew where Diane Alexander lived, decided to check out the scene. You know what I'm saying? If Lionel is cheating with this lady, 2 in the morning, he should be there. There's no better time. So she puts on her lurking clothes, jumps in her car, and drives to Diane's apartment. When she gets to Diane's apartment, she drives to the parking lot behind the apartment. And sure enough, honey, she sees Lionel's car sitting there loud and proud. Oh, honey, Brenda's blood starts boiling, baby. On and popping ain't the word. Sis was getting ready to set it off. So she quietly gets out of her car and she creeps up to Diane's apartment door and she perks up her ears to listen. Baby, that girl heard one word out of Lionel's mouth and the whole door just flew open. Honey said the thing almost came off the hinges child. Said Diane and Lionel thought he man had burst through the door. And so Lionel and Diane is just scrambling off the bed. You know they running every which way but baby Brenda Richie was too fast. So Brenda starts running at Lionel full speed. Kapow! Brenda had drop kicked that man in the stomach child. The folks say that Lionel flew across the room in slow motion but baby as soon as he hit the floor he got up and ran away in fast motion. As a matter of fact Brenda tried to run over there to continue uh punching him child said that she ain't see nothing but a bunch of jerry curl stains on the floor baby said that lionel richie had used all kind of black man speed to get up out of there and diane alexander tried to use that same
same speed, but she was not a black man. And the speed that she possessed was much slower than the one that Lionel Richie possessed. So when Diane tried to run out of there, baby, they say Brenda Richie caught that woman by her hair, grabbed her back like this, and punched the devil out of that woman. Then the folks say that Brenda picked that woman up and threw her into a table and a chair, baby. As a matter of fact, the folks say that all kind of furniture across the apartment was torn up because of Brenda uh, flinging Diane from here to there, baby. And just when Diane couldn't take it no more, that's when Brenda flung her to the floor. And so Diane is on the floor. You know, she is sighing in relief. You know, she like, whoop, thank God, because that woman was finna kill me. On and they say Brenda Richie started making some noises, and Diane looked to the side, and she knew it was over, baby, because they say Brenda was in a karate stance. Brenda Richie got to running over to that woman, jumped up in the air, and landed with a blade punch on Diane's face. Diane was screaming and hollering, but Brenda Richie just kept throwing them hands, baby. And so the neighbors who had been hearing all of this commotion and was now hearing somebody scream like they were about to die the neighbors had caught the cop and so the cops pulled up and told Brenda to put her hands up and Brenda put her hands up and I know Diane Alexander breathed the sigh of relief but as the cops walked over to pull Brenda off of her Diane's world came crashing down again baby because she looked up and Brenda Richie was whooping on the cops honey baby said Brenda was doing all kind of yeah, yeah. tiger claw drunken monkey and everything laid the cops out and went right back to busting Diane all upside the head. Luckily the cops were not knocked out so they were able to pick themselves up and kind of like scramble themselves together and this time when they came after Brenda they used all of their brute force to keep her under control and so they snatched her up off of Diane and they put her hands behind her back and she was still being unruly so they threw her on the ground and basically kind of like leaned into her so she wasn't able to move. And uh, rumor has it that Brenda was just screaming. You know, she just, ah, you know, let me go. You know, she was just in a rage. And then they started talking about arresting her behind and taking her behind the jail. And this is when gossip claims Brenda started yelling out a different tune. In fact, she started screaming for Diane. She started saying, Diane, you know, help me. Don't let them take me to jail. Don't let them do this. You know, because now that she was in handcuffs and the cops were saying this, you know, she probably realized the gravity of this situation. You know, she probably also remembered who she was. She was famous. So who wants this plastered all over the newspapers? Who wants that? So she's like, you know, Diane, help me. Don't let them take me to jail. Don't let them do me like this. Tell them. Tell them what's going on. But y'all, I guess Diane was like, baby, after the tail whooping you just gave me, baby, I'm not finna tell these cops nothing. I hope they do take your tail to jail. So allegedly, Diane did not say anything in her defense. And so Brenda ended up being carted off to jail. And the whole thing caused a scandal, honey. Word got around California just a few hours later. And then later on that day, the news got around the world because it was printed in the newspapers and it was just crazy you know some people were laughing about it you know what I'm saying and then other people were sad because they liked these people together as a couple and so to find out you know that uh, a mistress was in the mix you know it was a lot going on and then as the days continued to pass and more information started coming out people started calling Lionel Richie a coward and a soft belly fool because it was revealed that he was one of the first people to call 911 and child they said I'm sorry it ain't funny it's not funny but the folks say that Lionel was on the phone with 911 talking about some uh my wife Brenda she didn't drop kick me in the stomach somebody need to do something and then and then said the 911 folks was asking Lionel where he was at baby said Lionel said that he was gone said his mistress was still in there with Brenda but he had left child baby I guess Lionel said he wasn't finna get beat up so it was a lot going on and we can more laugh about it today because it was so long ago but you know at that time it was it was terrible you know what I'm saying it was terrible for Lionel uh Brenda Diane everybody involved it was just a really bad and embarrassing situation and it's not anything that we haven't seen before a lot of couples especially when they're younger a lot of couples fight baby me and my husband have had fights that you would not believe you hear me but you know we have had the pleasure of not having our stuff splashed out everywhere you know what I'm saying so it was pretty embarrassing for them at the time and so after the whole situation was over Brenda and Lionel did try to make it work you know a lot of it was because they wanted to look good in the public especially Lionel they did not want it to ruin his career and they did love each other 
So I don't only think it was because of Lionel's fame. You know, I think they really did want to give it a go, but it was just too much. You know what I'm saying? Like Brenda, I'm sure could not get past the cheating. Lionel probably couldn't get past being drop kicked in the stomach. So it was too much. And by the time 1993 came around, both of them were just pretty much done with fighting for their marriage. And so they ended up getting a divorce. But Lionel Richie ended up turning heads anyway and being judged anyway because rumor has it uh about six months later he publicly came out with diane alexander as boyfriend and girlfriend and then he had even more people talking in 1995 when he ended up marrying diane alexander they also went on to have two children of their own well diane found out just like a lot of people find out that when you're promoted from side chick to wife that position is open. And so allegedly, um, Lionel Richie had uh, more side chicks on the side. And I'm not sure if that was the actual reason that their marriage didn't work. I just know the rumor says that he definitely stepped out a few times on Diane as well. But whatever happened, their marriage did come to an end in the year of 2004. And since then, Lionel Richie has had several girlfriends or several dates and things like that, but um, I don't think he will ever get married again. And that is because in 2016, Lionel Richie said that he would never get married again. Well, I don't know, it could have been 2015. Whatever the case, he did an interview and he said that marriage was not for him anymore. But you know the reason that he said why it wasn't? Listen to this mess right here. Lionel had the nerve to say that his ex-wives ruined the institution of marriage for him. <laughs> what? What did they do, sir? You were the one cheating? And I don't want to speak too much on the subject. You know, I don't want to, like, talk real bad about Lionel because maybe he was talking about something that we don't know about. You know what I'm saying? Maybe one of his wives were cheating on him. You know what I'm saying? Or maybe they was kicking him in the balls at night. I don't know what could have happened in this crazy, wild world. So I don't want to speak too much on that situation. But he did say that, you know, his ex-wives, like, I guess their behaviors or something, ruined marriage for him. So um, he said he probably would never get married again, but he was okay with dating. So this is the end of Lionel Richie's scandalous video between his wife and mistress and himself. Um, but before we go, I do want to say that there probably will be more short videos like this in the future because a lot of the people that you guys request, they don't have scandalous lives. You know what I'm saying? These people ain't like James Brown, Little Richard, Tina Turner. Now those people had rock and roll lives for real. You know what I'm saying? They had scandal from the beginning to the end, baby. Well, a lot of these people don't live well crazy lives like that so uh, they can't get a whole full video on their life when they only had maybe one or two scandalous things happen so that's how some of these videos in the future will be they will be short like this well I will pretty much describe one situation because that's all that person had so that's the first thing I want to get out of the way the second thing I want to get out of the way is something that I have to tell you guys because my YouTube manager told me if I didn't start telling you guys this they was gonna bust me upside the head they didn't really say that but I I know they want to bust me upside there because I haven't been telling you guys this. So I'm telling you now, listen, I know a lot of y'all have subscribed. I know that, but I need y'all to go to the subscribe place where it says subscribe, click on it and click that bell. Uh, click it for always. I think it says always or every time or something like that. Click on that notification bell so you can get every single thing that I put out because I don't always just put out these videos. There could be other things I put out. Stories or little short videos with like four minute tea, just like I did with Bobby Brown the other day. You know, that was like a four minute video. A lot of you guys probably didn't get alerted to that. So if you want to be alerted to everything I do, especially my lives, because I'm about to start doing more giveaways, if you guys want to be alerted, you need to click that notification bell and turn it on for every single notification. But anyways, I love you guys so much. I'm getting ready to shoot another video and have it out soon. So bye y'all.